the tape for Octavius the Weapon Smith and Randy Jarvis brought to you by www.midwestsportstv.com. Be sure to check out midwestsportstv.com where you can see exclusive fight footage, fight interviews, as well as local news in the Midwest boxing scene. Octavius the Weapon Smith is 28 years of age. He's from Indianapolis, Indiana, 5 feet 11, 279 pounds, undefeated as a fighter, 1 and 0, oh, with that one victory being a second round knockout. Randy Jarvis, 24 years old, from Akron, Ohio. He's a student, 5 foot 10, 210 pounds, making his professional debut and a big, big weight differential in this fight, George. Very big weight differential. And that can go either way. If Eric Jarvis can capitalize on that, work the body and get out, he's gonna have a nice night of work ahead of him. However, if Octavia Smith can tie him up and use that weight to push Randy Jarvis around, it could be a long night for Randy Jarvis. One of them, uh, who wants it more tonight? Octavia Smith is fresh off of victory over John Cox on July 21st. That bout was in Morgantown, West Virginia, where Octavia Smith was a winner after a second round knockout. Jarvis is in the all black trunks. Octavia Smith is in the camouflage colored trunks. And from the looks of these two, we could be in for a short night because I think these two can bang a little bit. Right? Yeah, I think this fight's not going to go to distance. There's going to be a knockout. Who gets a knockout? We'll see in a few short rounds. But this is definitely going to be a puncher's night. As we prepare for round one to get underway in the heavyweight division, four rounds. Bell starts. Here we go. Both men go to the center of the ring. Both men in a conventional stance. And Jarvis is going to start with the jab, working the jab. Octavia Smith. Octavia is surprisingly quicker for his weight. Nice short jab on the inside by Octavia Smith. Jarvis counters with the left hand on the inside. Looks like Jarvis is going to try to stay on the outside for this fight. Now, Octavia Smith is able to get inside, land a couple of shots, but Jarvis is giving as much as he's taking, and now that's a nice combination as he has Octavia Smith against the ropes and is landing at will, and Octavia Smith can do nothing to block those punches, but a lot of those punches are not landing cleanly. And Jarvis had better be careful that he doesn't tire himself out early on. You're exactly right, Antonio. Jarvis has got the jitters of his pro debut. If he punches himself out, he could get himself in trouble. Both men holding in the corner. And now Edwin Roman's going to have to get the, get the fighters to break. And now both fighters back to the center of the ring. Both men looking in at each other. Jarvis landing lead left jab to the body. Both men looking to land off that jab tonight and Jarvis lands a nice left hook on the inside. Jarvis has slowed down a little bit since his first barrage of punches. But Jarvis is being very calculating as to what he throws because he also understands the difference in weight that Octavius could take one punch and end this fight. Jarvis effectively spun out of the corner immediately as he was trapped in the corner by Smith. There's some blood trickling down from Jar uh, Octavius' nose. Blood trickling down from Octavius Smith's nose. And it's from that left jab that continues to pepper the face of Octavius Smith early on in this fight. Nice lead one, two, and a lead right hand just grazes the head of Octavia Smith for Randy Jarvis. A couple of shots to the body now from Octavia Smith, and Jarvis was able to, to take those punches and spin out before he got himself caught in the corner. One, two lands for Jarvis in the center of the ring now. He's 
they're getting a little bit more comfortable in the ring. Yes, he is. With 10 seconds left in the first round, Jarvis has got his first pro round under his belt, and, and he's definitely being the aggressor. As the fight, first round's coming to a close, Jarvis and Octavia Smith get into a great exchange where Jarvis got in the better punches, got in the cleaner punches, and if it was close going in towards the end of that round, I think Jarvis may have stolen it with that, those combinations landed. Jarvis definitely pulled the Sugar Ray Leonard and stole the fight in the last, or stole the round in the last 10 seconds. It's hard to yell when the bat rip Changes off, but Jarvis clearly does not want to get caught. By Absolutely Octavia Smith. not. I don't think anyone here wants to get caught with one of Octavia Smith's pounds. Anything coming from a 279-pound man hurts. Round two is underway of the scheduled four-round heavyweight attraction. And Octavia Smith momentarily had Jarvis on the ropes, but Jarvis was able to spin out of the way, and now both men are back in the center of the ring. And Smith gets Jarvis into the corner, and again, not where Jarvis wants to be, but gets out and he back in comfort zone in the middle, George. Absolutely. You want to stay in the middle of the ring when you're fighting a guy like Octavia Smith. Smith gets you in the corner. He can use his weight to his advantage and land some hard shots. Nice left hook lands by Eric Jarvis. The crowd gets enthusiastic over that left hook as they clearly are behind the hometown fighter, Randy Jarvis, making his professional debut tonight. Absolutely. Both men in the center of the ring again. Kind of staring at one another, waiting for one to do something. Jarvis with a little jab on the inside but doesn't land. Jarvis moves to his right a little bit. Trying to stay out of the power zone for Octavia Smith. One, two, mostly blocked by Octavia Smith. Both fighters slowing down now in their punch activity. Absolutely. I think that first round tired him out a little bit. Octavia Smith just appears to be looking for that chance when he can catch Eric Jarvis right where he wants him. He's got him on the ropes right now, and this is where he's appearing to try to do some work. But Jarvis landing some good left hooks, countering off the rope. But now he's caught with the right hook. Jarvis goes down. down. Big right hook from Octavia Smith. Sends Eric Jarvis down. Doesn't look hurt, but appears to have taken a knee just to get his bearings back. That could have been a very calculated move on the part of Randy Jarvis. He got his win back. It seems like he has his legs back. Now we'll see what Octavia Smith has up his sleeve. And again, Octavia Smith is going to back Jarvis up to the ropes where Jarvis is going to hold on now as he clearly does not want to be against those ropes where Octavia Smith is going to have free reign throwing punches. Absolutely. And it just takes one punch from Smith to change the course of this fight. Right hand lands for Eric Jarvis, but again, finds himself on the ropes where Octavia Smith is kind of smothering him. And now he's able to get out of there, but again, some heavy blows landed by Octavia Smith in this round. <laughs> round two coming to an end. Left, lead left hook lands for Octavia Smith as Jarvis in the corner where he's working the body effectively, and Octavia Smith clearly the winner of that Good round. Good round for Octavia Smith. And Randy Jarvis is going to have to find out a way to get, to stay off the, off the ropes where he is just letting Octavia Smith land punch after punch after punch without really having to worry about anything coming back from Randy Jarvis. getting ready to start in this scheduled four-round heavyweight attraction. Octavius the Weapon Smith, undefeated as a fighter, 1-0 with one knockout. Randy Jarvis, 
making his professional debut. A big left hook lands from Octavia Smith. Stuns Randy Jarvis a little bit, but he does stay on his feet and tries to land a left hook of his own. One, two lands from Eric Jarvis. Clearly both fighters a little fatigued, but Jarvis is gonna have to move around in this round and cannot let himself again get trapped against the ropes where Octavia Smith can land power shots and as I well. And I think with, with both fighters being fatigued, that might actually give the edge to Octavia Smith because when fighters are fatigued, they tend to clinch. With Octavia Smith, his weight, he can push Jarvis to where he wants him in the ring and take good care of him. Blood streaming down the nose now from Randy Jarvis as well as Octavia Smith has gotten some heavy blows landed upstairs and the toll is taking, it's taking its toll on Jarvis's face as right now he's a bloody mess. It looks like he could have broken his nose, Antonio. It's a good three punch combination in right there. So the, the fight has not gone away from Randy Jarvis just yet as he's looking to take this hometown crowd and give them what they came here to see, a victory. Absolutely. Both fighters are tired, but both fighters have a fighting spirit in their heart. And that's what professional boxing is all about. It's not necessarily how big or small you are. Big left hook lands flush from Randy Jarvis. Octavia Smith took it very, very well. Octavia Smith can take a punch, and we just saw that. It's going to take more than one punch to knock Octavia Smith out. Octavia Smith having a little bit of James Tony syndrome as he backs towards our corner. And now what do we have here? I think the, I think the ref is going to call time and wants the, re, the, the doctor to take a look at Randy Jarvis's and nose. And Octavia Smith can pull his pants up too, as he does this, in the neutral corner. Yeah, this isn't something that would have an outcome on the fight and it clearly would not be something as to give the, 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 the doctor in charge a reason to stop the fight either. They're just doing it for his own protection, to get some blood out of his eyes and mouth. He's double checking everything. The Ohio Commission is very, very good on protecting its fighters. Referee clears, and we're back in the middle of the ring in this third round of this four rounds. Heavyweight attraction, uppercut on the inside lands from Octavius. Smith. Moves Jarvis back a little bit. Jarvis continues to be game, though. He's not giving up. Landing left hooks on the inside now as he continues to try to get Octavius Smith out of there. Another left hook lands from Jarvis, and I think he's gaining a little bit of momentum right now. This is a great fight, Antonio. Both guys are trading bombs. That cut over Jarvis's nose reminds me of Marvin Hagler's cut when he fought Tommy Hearns in 1985. This fight reminds me a little bit too. Both fighters are just throwing haymakers, and they're all landing. Right hand lands on the inside for Octavia Smith. Jarvis takes it well, and now both men clinching on the inside and referee Edwin Roman is again going to have to break the fighters up as we near the end of this third round Jarvis opens up lands three straight three four straight unanswered shots as the bell for the third round sounds Three minutes, man. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. 
Doyle Baird is working on his fighter, Randy Jarvis, in the corner, trying to get that blood stopped so that we don't have to have another stoppage. He has cut very bad over his nose. We're not sure if it's a break and a cut or just a cut in and of itself, but either way, it's causing a lot of distraction on the face of Randy Jarvis. Definitely a cut on the bridge of the nose, and they were unable to stop the bleeding in between rounds there, George. And now, as we start the fourth round, the final round of this heavyweight attraction, crowd is into it, chanting Randy, Randy, Randy for their hometown fighter. That hometown crowd seems to have inspired Randy Jarvis, and he's definitely being aggressive, but both fighters are trading. Nice combinations landing from Randy Jarvis as the end Octavia Smith trapped in the corner right now, and now Octavia Smith does the wise thing and holds on. And now the referee's gonna break the fighters as they go back to the center of the ring. The blood is flying at Chaparral's here in Akron, Ohio. Best advice I can give anybody at ringside, keep your mouth closed. You don't want any blood in your mouth, that's for sure. Octavia Smith trapped against the ropes right now, and every time he's against the ropes, the crowd gets wild and gets entertained as they want to see Randy Jarvis put Octavia Smith away. He's gonna, if he's, if he's gonna do it, he's gonna have to do it very soon as this is the last round of this fourth round heavyweight attraction. Octavia Smith pulls his pants up and Jarvis does not take advantage of Smith having his, his hands down. And now, again, as Octavia Smith trapped in the corner, see what Randy Jarvis can do. Nice right hand on the inside there by Jarvis and Octavia Smith must hold. Both fighters are looking to finish this fight strong. And Randy Jarvis being the aggressor and backing Octavia Smith into the corner. Both men back in the center of the ring in this very entertaining heavyweight bout between pro debuting Randy Jarvis and the undefeated Octavia Smith. The crowd, even if their fi hometown fighter doesn't win, at least they're gonna go home seeing a heck of a heavyweight fight. Absolutely. This is a great fight. And Randy Jarvis has not let the blood affect his fight plan, which is a credit to him his toughness and also his training. Big left hook lands from Octavia Smith. Didn't seem to phase Randy Jarvis though, as I think he's used to the power of Octavia Smith and can pretty much take whatever he can get. And now, gonna have a little pause in the action as the tape has come undone a little bit from Octavia Smith's. Well-deserved break for both fighters. Yep. While they take that fight, or while they take that glove, excuse me, Randy Jarvis is gonna hear it from the hometown crowd as they badly wanna see their guy win this fight. The crowd is into it here at Chaparral's. They are on their feet, ladies and gentlemen, cheering for their hometown favorite, Randy Jarvis, as he tries to put Octavia Smith away. And we might have another stoppage in action as Randy Jarvis's glove has come undone now. Referee has not seen it yet, but when he does, he will attend to it. A short right uppercut on the inside lands. The Jarvis left hook lands for Jarvis as well. As the round four is coming to a close, both men hanging on right now. That's going to do it for the Best fight. Best fight of the night so far. Great night, great fight, and surprisingly, even though Octavia Smith didn't appear in the best shape, he was able to hang on in there for the four complete rounds and didn't appear to tire that much. Have you gotten lost in the shuffle of so- All three judges scored this fight identically the same. Curry Royal, Joe Gonzalez, and Kevin Armstrong all scored this fight by unanimous decision. And now standing by with the winner, 